and let's check out the original school. So as I said, this is basically a Trickmania school made by the Trickmania United community. It includes many, many training maps. I think, uh, yeah, 75 by now, three campaigns, as well as many, many tutorials, which is also really interesting. We are going to check out the campaigns and naturally we're gonna start with snow it is the old car that came out first and um it's also my favorite one i would say we are gonna check it out and we're gonna try to beat all of the uh, challenger times or just go for world record i guess i don't know we will see <laughs> let's go map one backwards for guide wait what does each map have a guide as well oh my god okay that is cooked introduction to snow driver sander with a 8.80 Welcome to Snow. This car is very twitchy, but its sharp steering allows to take the turns very quickly. Try to steer less on sharp corners and harder the sharper it gets. The sweet spot for many corners on more structured maps will be around 80%. You'll have to use the entire range of your device or play with less restrictive action keys. Damn, that is crazy actually. Do they have one of these intros for every single... Um, for every single dingsbums? That would be kind of crazy. Okay. Uh, got the champion medal time. World record is a 8.802. And Sander has a... Um, Sander has an even faster time. So let's see if we can uh, get that. Got it. Alright, first one done. Let's go next. Why don't they uh, hire people like this? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, backwards for guide again. Let's check it out. Dude, imagine like, not, like this. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of that Nadeo is absolutely yek. Like, imagine we had, like, look at the snow discovery campaign we got. Literally 15 maps, most of them trash, and it's just a yek campaign. Like, it's not even, the campaign is not even, like, anywhere in the menu. Like, you have to go to play featured campaigns, blah, blah, blah. Nobody understands the shitty UI. And then you have 15 maps, and Nadeo's like, good luck, have fun. Why not make stuff like this? Okay, rant over. Let's go next. Uh, wait, what was GPS time? Just to make sure. It was a uh, 940. Okay, so if we get world record on the left, then it is, uh, yeah, world record. Okay, a little bit of a jump here. Okay, got the challenger time. Challenger times are a little bit too easy, to be honest, so far. I mean, okay, I'm, it's snow car. I'm good at snow car, yeah. But you know what I mean? Could have used the GPS times as well, I guess. But I guess they didn't want to make it too difficult. Fair enough. All right, go then. Uh, map three, backwards for guide. Info, boosts on snow work for over a second after crossing, so the effects on the car are prominent yet uh, gradual. Use the increased steering radius of the snow car and try to not fall off the track or slide. Dude, this is so nicely made, eh? Holy moly. This is so nicely made. It's actually crazy. Crazy and really, really cool. So, so nice, man. Okay. Let's see what we can cook here. Two eight zero. We got the champion time or challenger time or whatever. So the idea here is that we uh, use the booster effect as much as possible, I guess. So here, like no air time, and then. Uh, Keep the speed basically and then the ending yeah the ending you can do a small uh tr you can i guess you can do like this here to reduce airtime a little okay small improvement yeah okay 25 but 22 is sick is it just precision let me actually check let's check it out guys yeah pretty much uh, just precision Oh, ain't improving, guys. Ah, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. I am improving. I don't know. I must be missing some small trick because precision wise I literally had it almost perfect. No. 
I don't freaking know. I don't know. I cannot get it. Next map. The snow car is based around keeping speed throughout the track. Techniques related to this uh, idea are collectively called snowballing. Try to keep contact with the road at the start to jump further on the ramp and finish with more speed than you would otherwise. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we can cook here. So now I didn't keep grip fully. Got a bit of a bad landing. And that's slow. Okay, makes sense. Now I kept grip, jumped a bit further. And instantly improved even though I touched the wall. Fair enough. Okay. Got the uh, challenger time. Go check it out if you guys are interested. It's all in the original school club. Yeah, and like, this is like so easy again. I don't know, like, I don't know if Ahubianu just knows one thing more than I do. Like, either that, either he knows more or he just lucked that run. Like, actually crazy time by him on the previous map. No fucking clue. Sausage Road. Okay, no tutorial here. We don't want to see the ghost. So, some sausage. Most likely gonna be easy world record as well. Not first try or something, but yeah, but almost. Can also keep some grip here. Okay. Equals. But we wanna beat it either way because GPS time is um, faster. Okay, here we just wanna literally hack the inside as much as possible. Fifty-five. Okay, there we go. Like all of the other records are so easy in comparison, and I couldn't get that one. That bamboozles me, man. Okay, what is this? Uh, road and wood. Info: Watch out for sliding with this car. Skid marks uh, and uh, skid marks visible and often misaligned with each other, as it makes you lose speed and control over the vehicle. Uh, slides are most likely to happen on even the smallest of jumps, as the car has less grip than usual after a jump. Okay. We're going in. So zack, zack, and there's the finish. Okay. All right, all right, all right. It's a smooth line here, and then up the hill. Okay. Yeah, I hope so as well, Kachika. We'll see, though. At least occasionally, you know. Okay, should be easy as well, technically. We already got the Dingsbums time. How's it called? The Challenger time. But of course, we are striving for more. Oh, but 85 seems very good. 85 seems really fast. Okay, PB. 94, okay. Check out the Discord, DB. I made a news post about it. In general, all of the information about BYMC are always on the Discord. I don't get it. And like, how is he so much faster? Eh? Okay, 91. Eh? There is a booster map tutorial. Also? Look how much slower I am sometimes. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna skip because uh, I don't want to waste any more time and I don't understand it. No freaking clue. 
What is this? Uh, over 80% turns. Drive as smooth as possible on the very first turns to get a more speed. You will find that with this gathered speed, the last turn might be very difficult. It will require full range steering, aka full steering. Hold the 100% input until you clear the turn enough to straighten up for the car before the last drop. Okay. Uh, great, a booster. So smooth lines here. And then suck, and then you have to full steer here. Okay. I understand. Man, imagine this would be the real snow car tutorial. Ach, man, ey. It is so sad, actually. So many more people would have enjoyed snow and the other cars if it uh, would have been released like this. So much wasted potential because Nadeo is either clueless or lazy in, in terms of that. I don't know, either way it's just sad. Okay, oh my god, that's close with the records. Ha, only one booster, so Ahubianu cannot uh, cannot booster abuse too much. Ahu what? Ahubiano. It's his actual name. Like I don't know if it's if his it was his actual name at least. Yeah, no boosters, no hard to beat world record. Okay, what is this? Bonk. Uh, airtime on bumps. According to the principles of snowballing speed from sticking to the ground, trying to maneuver the bumps to get uh, to get least possible time in the air is the strategy here. Okay, twenty five. Ah, nothing against you not, but <laughs> if Sander drives the times, they are <laughs> more difficult to beat. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> At least on, uh, on snow. I mean, snow is just full smooth to reviews, like you cannot be as good with other devices. Just how it is. <laughs> not meant to be rude, of course. Twenty-six, okay. Bull is twenty-five. To beat a uh, Sander Chun. Ah, less speed. Okay, I need to go full smooth in that transition. Uh, how are the maps are alterated? Um, uh, I generated looking like. Uh, we don't have altered Nadeo this week. I can tell you, out of the 15 maps I randomized, there was um, a spammy of the day map, <laughs> which is kind of funny. Ah, Bruder! Got it. Okay, map 9. Uh, tilted wood. You have to stay almost exactly in the middle to get through tilted wood transitions showcased on this map uh, properly. Okay, world record is world record. Understandable. So here we just go like this, and then, uh, yeah. Okay, understandable. Easy map. Easy world record, surely. Roa type 1. I oh, know it's not even Roa. Aru. Roa had the GPS. But it's so funny how this is exactly like um, a training campaign should be. Also, a stadium campaign should be. So, Nadeo, if you're watching this, if anyone ever is watching this at Nadeo, do something like this for stadium and rework that fucking training campaign. Or just hire people to do it. Whatever. Just let it happen. Because the training campaign is a fucking joke. Okay, we're getting there. Tuck. Hang. Okay, map 10. Chaining turns. By Sander. Ah, 595. Five. Okay. Oh no, a booster. Uh oh. Okay, so basically multiple turns chained together. Understandable. Alright, we're going in. 
Okay, that turns a bit awkward. Now I'm looking forward to map 25. It's gonna be interesting. Okay, 82. Gonna be some steady improving here. Okay, that's second already. Oh, I had a slide. Yuck. Wait, what's GPS again? 5-9? Five, 5-9-5, nine? Five, nine, five. okay. Okay, but not enough yet. Ah, once again, easy world record, and now I'm having to cook against Sandu again. Lovely. But there we go. <laughs> Alright, doable. Pagoda blocks. Beware the sharp edges of the pagoda blocks. These items mimic old school tunnel blocks, where the inside of the turn is not smooth, so it's easy to hit. Drive a bit wider unless uh, you're really confident you will not crash. I'm very confident. Don't worry, I'm very confident, guys. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Okay, should be easy. There we go. 68. What is this? Tight, tacky turns. Sometimes the road might split in half, leaving you with less wiggle room. At the end of the track, uh, there is a turn that you might not be able to clear with a bad line at speed. Uh, you might uh, find out that with a bad angle the snow car starts sliding. This means you're losing speed. You should avoid slides in favor of different lines releasing or even braking. Yeah. True. Nothing to add there. So let's cook. I forgot uh, where the route goes. Also here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, Ahu has world record. There we go. Okay, six and eight. Uh, unless you have jumps on turns, unless you have the perfect line, you might want to adjust your your it to your needs mid turn. Okay, I'm confused. Not typo. <laughs> Unfortunately, this map has a jump caused by the turn itself. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I build it this way. 
<laughs> so adjustments are difficult. With stadium car you would use counter steering, tapping the opposite direction right before jumping. However, with snow car it is better to drive a turn outside to inside and angle way before the jump instead. Yeah, we're going in. This could be a bit of a weird one to hunt. But let's see. Pop. Okay. Oh, not sure if I will get this world record, to be honest. That is a weird ass map. Sixty-nine. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go for the world record. Oh, really? There we go. Okay, 14. We're going in. 3 1 4. Ach du Scheiße. Although tubes do not come by default in this version of Trackmania, they may nonetheless be used by the community. There are two ways um, they might be implemented in general. Either as a turn, like the big tube on this track, which you drive like a regular slanted corner, or as a loop, like the first small tube, where you align with the center and do not steer for the duration of the loop. Also here, I don't understand why are these blocks not naturally in the game. That makes no sense. Like these were some of the most typical um, blocks from uh, Trackmania United. Why are these not in the game by default? It's so, like, Nadeo, man. Stop being lazy. And okay, yeah, okay, to be fair, the snow update bring enough blocks. But, like, why not bring in, bring them in uh, with an update or something? Yeah, with these tubes, there often are tricks in terms of the line, but it's not that easy to do. Yeah, I, I didn't really have a lot of that, Roa. That's the issue. <laughs> a little bit, yes. But this is also different blocks, you know? Like, this tube block didn't even exist. <laughs> yeah, okay. 36, though. Somehow. Yeah, GPS was 31, that's sadly true. Ah, fuck this. I don't know, like, maps like this I never enjoyed. When it's just fully about the tubes, eh. I just never understood them properly, so it always became random to me. Intermediate tech with braking. At the end of the track, you will encounter a turn that might be impossible full speed. <laughs> we'll see about that. To pass it, try tapping while holding. Okay, that's not possible. <laughs> try tapping while uh, try tapping brake while still holding acceleration. The amount of time you tap uh, brake might differ from track to track and person to person. Yeah, 62 is quite fast.
that shows that you are already damaged, Flowey. And you have a completely normal song and you all of a sudden expect a YZZ drop. Then you know you're watching too much Kanadi, probably. Okay, that was easy, but 62 is world record. No, I touched, but I got it easily, hey? <laughs> Yik. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Okay, we're in the red maps. Backwards for guides. Uh, understanding uncommon turns. When driving the snow car, you might encounter long chains of hard corners. It might be needed to study them to, to to get them quickly and with a lot of speed. For example, the last corner should probably be taken with an inside line, but on the second to last corner, trying to go inside will reside on a lot of airtime. Experiment to find a line that works for you or watch replays better than yours to see proper lines. You watch Kanadi at work. Good focus. Your boss will understand. And if he doesn't insult his mama, and then um, he will understand. Show him who the show him who the real boss is. Oh, that's a technical line. Yeah. At aso at walk aso. Wait, so while cooking or what? Look it. Uh, okay, that's kind of disgusting to drive. Wow, that is hard to drive. Stock car challenge as well. Classic. Your mama. What club is this in? Uh, original school. Ah, so much more possible. Autoball. Autoball was always like cool to watch, but I think doing it myself, I would enjoy it the least. There we go. Okay, next. Yik. <laughs> Map 17! Uh, transitions! Yeah, okay, that is nice. I like transitions. Um, transitions. Oh, interesting line here. Point 0.64 by Roa. Yeah, okay. Boah, 13 second flat. I actually want to jump down earlier. I'm jumping too late. Oh, banger song. Wait, what was GPS? Ah, yeah, 64. Oh, please tell me I beat him. Thank God. Dissecting, dissecting boost mechanics. Ah. Yeah, hello guys, it's the booster. 
Since boosts are kept for a long time after activation, smallest techniques can result in a lot of speed. Uh, this track showcases two of them in particular. Two more, uh, the more parallel you enter a booster gate, the less speed you get. And boosts don't boost you while the car is in the air. Okay. So here it's actually slow. Like, let's do it slow way first so that you see the difference. Like, usually you would just go like this, you would think, right? Like, diagonal and suck and yeah, easy. Like, just normal racing line. Um... But that is actually really fucking slow, as you can see. We gain a lot more speed if we go literally like this here. It looks it, lo it looks goofy, but it just gives way more speed if you go like this. We're just very far ahead. Suck and suck. Super easy. Literally just go... Like, you wanna literally steer more to get more boost. It's dumb, but uh, yeah. This was, by the way, the reason why I lost to Sander, because I didn't know this trick. That one Sander, uh, the one cup of the day that Sander won against me, this is why I lost against him. That is not even Copium, because after I knew about it, I improved that map's time by like so much. <laughs> oh shit. Is this only for snow car? No, it's for the uh, original cars. So there's one campaign for snow car, one for rally, one for desert. Seventy-three. What was GPS? Slower or faster? Oh, seventy-two. Ah, great. Wasn't that the, the wasn't that the point of the campaign? Oh, look, I have a way better start actually. Hey. Ah, so they slow down and take the red tooth. Ah, so. Yeah, hello. Good to know. So it's like slowing down here and then taking the speed. Ach so! Ah, easy. 69. Nice. Fast wooden platforms. Okay, this could be cool. This style of building has uh, its roots in the most awarded Trackmania original track, Nemesis, from 2004 by Rux. This guy built snow maps when I was three years old. Jesus Christ. The core idea is throwing the player into sudden turns of boosts. A great idea. <laughs> See how well you can keep up with the speed. Amazing ideas. That should be easy. That's the Kanadi style. Ah, this is Kanadi level. Okay, I got world record first try, but WR is 0.13. Didn't even know where to go. <laughs> Dick. But I full slipped the last turn, that was definitely not good. Huh. Ah, this is my jam there. Ah, this is easy. Zack already got it. I wanna see if I can do this last turn full speed though. Yes, you can. Okay, let's improve real quick. 11x or slow. Ah, it's not possible, I think. Map a bit too short for that. There's not really anything happening here. I mean, yeah, there is stuff happening, but like... Like, you full speed and then you're maxed. <laughs> not with that attitude. Yeah, come on, guys. I got world record first try, and GPS time, which is hunted, second try. Yeah, let's leave it at that. <laughs> Cannot complain, guys. Wait, why am I going backwards? I wanna skip. Okay, what is this? Map 20, 2020 final. Advanced airtime reduction and stability methods. Uh, by Roa and Sander with a 303 and a 304. If you're going slightly above the ground, uh, where you feel like you could stay on it, you have some options. <laughs> you could tap brake, brake tapping before the turn, which is slower, but nicely secures your car on your line. But And you could also tap the opposite direction of where you're turning, counter steering, which is especially well used when the car tilts and drives on two wheels. Finally, you can release. Best for minor adjustments. Oop. 
We're going in. Absolutely did not remember the route, but whatever. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, that is hard actually, to survive that. Yeah. Also gotta make sure to apply what we learned earlier with the boosters. Very important. Ah. Okay, so when I go straight here, fully. Ah, it's wolf. That was actually uh, pretty good. Full speed! This track represents uh, some common features associated with speedy snow maps. Wait, he's not doing the wall ride trick. Not. Hey? Eh? Not are you clueless? Wait, does the. Not either you are clueless or I'm clueless. But if you are clueless, I can beat this record with ease. Anyway. Uh, traditionally, wall rides and tubes at the end of this map represent the track mana original. These short ones where entry is most important were played without switching to camera 3. It's best to get a line with least distance uh, possible, but also least speed loss for playing. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I mean. Let's see if it works. Maybe I'm clueless, but let's just first of all do the lines not did. And then I can tell you uh, whether you're clueless or not. So, wall ride, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, this was a tube. Yik. Sorry, guys, clueless Snyko is driving. Ow, my diddly do. Okay, this was Yak, but this was basically the Dings line. But what you can usually do in wall rides is to do the same trick as on bobsleigh. So you put your car like this and you will gain more speed out of it. And it's the same here. Was this not used? Like, this should be faster. And if not, then I'm clueless. Forgot that this is possible, yeah. I'm a bit clueless now as well, to be honest. How do I get faster? Oh, that was faster? Well, wait, wait, let's let's now not do it to see if it's faster. Yeah, look. <laughs> when you don't do it, it's much slower. Actually, kind of an important trick. Because it's also used in bobsleigh. I don't know if bobsleigh is coming at some point. But this campaign only features road so far. But yeah. Where was GPS? Oh, one. Damn, nobody beat your time yet, not. Cooking. Yeah, fair enough. I forgot that it's only uh, things. <laughs> Holy shit. What is that speed? Holy mama. Yeah, hello, 91. Yeah, okay, but fair enough. I also did a strat that you didn't do. <laughs> huh, okay. Did Arubiano do it? No, clueless. <laughs> that comes from all of the old car abusing. Oh, he went super long in the tube. Wait, let me actually improve. Actually, sick map to like snowball. Also here with keeping grip with the booster. Okay, this should be an improvement now. If I'm not. Yeah, small one. Okay. 22, 22, 22, 22. Outwards bank turn. Snow car is more likely to tilt over when it drives on an outwards uh, bank turn. Drive careful lines and use smooth steering braking or releasing 
whenever needed. Point 37 by row A. Oh my, oh my god, that finish. Okay, that is, uh, yeah. Wait, this here is easy? Okay, it's just the finish, to be fair. Ah, well, I don't know what. That's some Devil Cry level turns, yeah. Hey, but this map is, this campaign is so good. Like, it's just road and it teaches so many things. Like, it's actually crazy. Like, you guys should really check this out if you're, if you want to get better at these cars. And I know they are unpopular, mainly because of the device issue and also because of Nadeo being yak. But if you're still interested in learning these, then this is literally like... Ach du Scheiße. Okay, that is uh, very XTV. Definitely have to like break or release for this last one here. Otherwise, you just die. <laughs> and I mean, for the keyboard players, you can check out the Desert campaign, I guess. Desert is uh, more keyboard friendly. If you just want to learn a bit of Desert, whatever. Honestly, it would be cool if we had this with tutorials also for Stadium Car. I mean, I know it's the original school, blah, blah, blah. And we have like the normal Trackmania school, but the normal Trackmania school don't have these nice tutorials and explanations. Which is actually a bit sad. So like you can practice stuff there, but you don't really get it explained. So technically you could just make it like, I don't know, maybe you could even contact uh, AQ Alex from the Trickmania school. And just like combine these things, but easier like TM preschool. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, we can all agree that um, normal uh, training campaign is, uh, yeah. How could you say? Dog shit. Like literally could not like, Pretty much every single Trickmania player could build a better training campaign than the one we have officially in the game. And it's just so sad. Wow. Okay, that was scary. I stood very low. I was actually faster then. Oh, nice. What is GPS? Please don't be faster, GPS. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, Australia has all of the shit. <laughs> How is that even for me? There are crocodiles in Florida, just mostly alligators. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you hear there you get it, Iridium. There are crocodiles. And I asked how many crocodiles Pikachu met. Because they are more rare. So I was like, you know. Oh my god, this is XCD. Oh yeah yeah yeah, I think I beat him. I think I beat him. Please, please, please. Yes! Oh, by 3000s. Holy moly! Okay! Engine off. <laughs> uh, ach du Kacke. Backwards driving. Snow car has the unique property of faster backwards acceleration while... Uh, faster acceleration while backwards, which allows it to drive on uphills really well. However, the speed of the vehicle is limited to, to 150, so usually it is not the fastest option. Yeah, this could be difficult. Nobody has Challenger medal here yet. The thing is, I'm not very used to backwards driving. Gonna make it a bit more um, relaxing to hold for me. Ah. Ah, this is gonna be hard for me. This is definitely gonna be the hardest uh, metal, I'm pretty sure. Yik. Wait, did you just cue the same song twice, Nebula? Yik. The thing is, I can also not use cam- I mean, I can use camera free with this, but it's the egg. I cannot even finish. <laughs> Pfft. 
just skip this map? Ah, do I look like a pussy or what? Just skip this map, heck. You think I will just accept that I have 24 out of 25 of the challenger medals? That would be irresponsible as fuck. Dick. Can even go like this, but it's not faster, I think. It's all about this turn here, to be honest. Challenger is basically champion medal. Wir bleiben ruhig. Schnappi. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, my brain didn't brain. Okay, what is CPS time? Ach man, why is it not backwards? Not, you cannot do that. On every single map it's backwards, except for this one. My brain is not braining on this. Mama is a crocodile. Nein, not fuck your... Naja... I mean... Hmm. Why is it a 146? Uh, do I have to beat that or not? Nee, oder? Nee, fuck it. No, 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 no. Landing bugs, yeah, hello? Landing bugs are uh, occurrences that might happen after falling down too far on flat ground. You can recognize them by a loss of speed when landing together on all four wheels at the same time. Air braking with snow car is impossible. To avoid a landing bug, you need to steer right before the drop in order to slightly tilt the car sideways so that all four wheels won't hit the ground in the same way. Wait, is that still a thing? What is this? So. So this was the landing bug things. This is actually interesting. I didn't know landing bugs can still happen. Like, can you still get like bad landings when you land like this? I didn't know that. But apparently? Pop, pop. Wait, I actually did get a landing bug or something. Or I just had shit lines. I think I had shit lines. Oh, but now I, that was a landing bug. There I got a slowdown. So you can still get bad landings, they're great. So you just don't wanna land like... Yeah, now I had more speed. Eh. I didn't even know that. Yeg. <laughs> that is actually yeg. Oh. <laughs> But nice creativity, Shengar. Creativity is not valued high in the OK Boys. I mean, you can just look at the people who are uh, in the OK Boys. Like literally 50% of them just named themselves in-game after their first name. Lars and Marius, for example. And Chris as well. So we're not necessarily the most creative group. But uh, yeah. Do you know what's funny? I bought my girlfriend a gift. Just like no occasion or anything, just like because, you know, because I'm a nice guy, sometimes. <laughs> and I hid it somewhere in the apartment and she didn't find it yet. <laughs> but she also refuses to search for it because, Zitat, es ist doch nicht Ostern. <laughs> it's not Easter time. Eventually she will find it. The funny thing is, uh, like, uh, I told her about that, like, it, came, it only came today. Like, I ordered it online. And, um, like, but I already told her about it uh, a couple of days ago. So she tried to guess what it is. Oh my god, that was a perfect landing. She thought, she thinks she knows what it is, but she actually doesn't. <laughs> okay, uh, we are at the final map here, actually. What did she think? Uh, she thinks it is AirPods, like, uh, ear AirPods, whatever, stuff like that. But it's not true. Okay, but yeah, anyway, um, the last map here is a very long one. So this basically, uh, was there a text? No. But this basically combines everything we have learned before. So by far the longest map, 55 seconds. Uh, this one's gonna be a banger. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I drive her crazy. Was 
ist das ein Anti-Boost? Ah no, the boost is on top. Trolling. Okay, yeah, this one could take a little bit. So we'll have to see. But this is uh, looking like a banger map. Oh shit, okay, this is a break corner. And we literally have everything of the previous maps combined. If you like, pay attention to detail. Oh, okay, it's not how you drive this. Like, everything is here. That's really cool. Wait, can you cut that loop? No. It's a banger map. Overall banger campaign. I will definitely also check out the other ones. Like, this was only... Um, this was only a uh, snow car campaign. There's also one for desert and one for rally already. But there is more to check out. But not for today. I spent quite a bit longer on this than I planned to. Because I uh, went for a lot of hunting, you know. But that was also because, you know, records were challenging and it was fun. Oh, but you have to break here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at this minus 30 speeds. That is not good. But I can tell you, I will 100% get this world record here. Anything else would be... Uh, yeah, not Granadi-like. But it seems like Exetic actually cooked. You can do a side jump there and then the no landing bug trick in the ending. Okay, I need to gain a second. Ah, the world record is gonna be doable though. I mean, this is an icon map. also go like this. Okay, I can, but probably not good. The thing is, the speed from there doesn't actually carry very long, because uh, yeah, we have the braking section then. Could almost be it already. Not far away at least. 74, okay. Oh, I even took the wrong line here. <laughs> in my previous PV. Or like in my PV. As you, see, as, you, as you can see, time wise. Um, a lot more possible here. And with that, I think I'm pro I've proven that I am number one snow car abuser. Zack. All right. Insane map, insane campaign in general, crazy effort, massive shout out to everyone uh, participated at this. Like, not absolutely cooked and also all of the testers. I think not built all of these maps, so he built 75 maps, probably did the media tracker as well. Like, I don't even want to freaking know how much time he needed for this. It's actually insane. Actually, really, really crazy. So yeah, banger of a campaign. If you want to check this out yourself, guys. Original school is what the club is called. Go check it out, data server. They have a lot of tips here. Not only the maps, for those of you who missed it at the beginning, they also have like um, tips for keyboard, um, tips for uh, analog devices, what you can do with the settings, how to use action keys, etc., etc. So basically, yeah, a perfect description on how to use uh, or how to play the original cars, which is something... That was uh, yeah, very necessary in this game because Nadeo is not explaining shit because they're just lazy. I, uh, it sounds harsh, but Nadeo was just lazy when doing this. So uh, yeah, shout out to Not for cooking this. Club only has 20 members so far, guys. Join the club, try this out yourself. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this very first campaign. We're going to check out the other two in the next two days, I guess. And uh, yeah, was a lot of fun.